Microsoft Outlook vs Gmail Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Let's compare Microsoft Outlook and Gmail and see which one is better. So let's check it on the appearance basis, basically which platform provides better services and better features. So when you check out the Microsoft, there are some features but it is quite limited and there's not much to do on Gmail except some features like snooze and scheduling your emails and all sort of things. But when it comes to Outlook, you can find different options. You can even set the meetings and set more details to your meetings like the location, add people to that particular uh, meeting and also the time, place. Everything is quite organized when it comes to setting meetings on Outlook. So when it comes to features, Outlook is absolutely winning this race. And let's check the another parameter which is productivity. So you can see it quite clearly on Outlook you can do different functions and do all sort of work related to your business quite easily at one place. You can also use the email feature of Outlook in case if you want to avoid using the Gmail. But when it comes to Gmail, the productivity is quite less and you won't be able to do much on Gmail as compared to Outlook. So in this race also, Outlook is quite winning. But when it comes to simplicity, the Gmail is better as it don't have much features. So it is quite user friendly in that way. And if someone is just beginning their journey with email and business related stuff, then Gmail might come handy as it has less features, so less confusion. So in that way, for big news, Gmail might be very useful in the beginning. And when it comes to integration, then the integration is quite high on Outlook. You can integrate with different Microsoft apps and get them to work and use them using Outlook. This way, integration is quite high class on Outlook as compared to Gmail. So Outlook is winning in that perspective as well. And when it comes to pricing, both Gmail and Outlook has basic free plans for their features and their basic functioning. But in case if you want to avail the additional or advanced features, then both has the advanced plans. On Gmail, you can purchase the storage and other advanced features. And for Outlook, you can go with the Outlook 365 Premium if you are trying to scale your business and you want to connect your teams with Outlook. Then this way you would be required to pay the amount in order to get the advanced features of Outlook. But the free plans for both these platforms are absolutely phenomenal and can be used and utilized for small businesses. And let's check out the last perspective which is support. So in case of Outlook, you can go with the phone support and you would be able to avail the support quite easily and the support is just one call away and when it comes to gmail the support is there but through email and both these platforms has their community which helps out the people in need and help is just one search away so all you have to do is just search for your problem and you will be able to find the solution for both these platforms as these two platforms are quite popular so you won't be getting any problem as such. So this was a short tutorial comparing Outlook and Gmail. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.